What's up, everybody? It's Wicked back with more Final Fantasy X. Let's jump right into the game. Last time we got um, an Aeon, Valfor. Now we're going to see what the hell's going on. That's a nice blade hey, walker. Sleepyhead. Something I want to give you. Whoa, you're giving this to me? Yeah, use it well. You're giving me that dope ass blade. All right. That's the sword you gave Chapu. Well, he never used it. Who's Chapu? Where's Yuna? We're taking the same boat as Yuna, right? Why do we gotta wait here? Oh yeah, we also met we Yuna in them last time. Ten years ago, when the last calm started. The calm? Since then, she's been like a little sister to me and Lulu. But she had the talent. She became an apprentice. Now, today, she leaves as a summoner. This is our journey. We should leave together. Okay. You really don't need all that luggage. Uh, they're not really my things. Th they're gifts for the temples we're to visit. This isn't a vacation, Yuna. I mean, I it kind of is. I guess you're right. Anytime you leave your okay, home area to new places, it's kind of a vacation. Whether it's for work or otherwise. Are we joining them? It looks like it. I mean, we are part of Waka's team, right? But yeah, we have Yuna and Lulu in the party now. What do you have? Cure and Asuna, just like everything else. Zoom out a little bit. These null abilities are pretty good, but I might skip them because I don't really see the need in them. I think I'm probably gonna make Yuna. Where are the friggin' the Lulu spells? So I can get these elemental spells for Yuna really early on here. That's cool. Make her like a white mage, black mage. And make Lulu like a white mage, black mage type thing. Make them both like mixed. Would that be pretty cool? Could I do that? I don't know. Uh, we'll think about that later once we can level up a little bit more. I'm not gonna think about it too much. But yeah, we have scripted fights here to give us a little tutorials here. That is a really dope blade. I love this weapon. Too shabby. You kept up with him pretty well. Might make a good guardian someday. A flyer. My kind of customer. So I guess with Waka, he has better accuracy and stuff. So he's better with flying type enemies. Yeah, from what I remember, Titus is like really fast and powerful. Waka is really good with accuracy. Lulu was the black mage. Yuna was the white mage. And then the other characters... I don't remember, honestly, what they were good at. That looks like trouble. I can take it. <laughs> Watch this. Watch you do a whole 50 damage on him. Oh, good job. Only magic can beat that thing. Well, you not true. Down. You gotta use magic of an element they don't like. Magic? Let's have our black mage show you what I mean. Lou, you're up. Clueless, aren't you? Good thing I'm here. Spells of ice work well against fire fiends, and ice fiends are weak against fire magic. You follow? I get fire and ice, but what about lightning and water? Lightning and water are opposed, just like fire and ice. This one here is a water fiend, which means... So something cool about this game, how they deal with magic is, instead of fire being good against ice water good against fire thunder good against water and whatnot fire and water are opposed no is it fire water fire and i don't know i don't know <laughs> i think it's water and thunder and fire and ice yeah 
So like ice is greater than fire, fire is greater than ice, water is greater than thunder, and thunder is greater than water. So it's not like only a one-way thing. It's like they're both opposed. Take your time. And those are the only four elements in the entire game besides like Let's light going, or holy. Man. We're gonna wait. Huh? Are you ready? What's going on? I wish I knew, Titus. Um, you know what? Let's show some respect and pray it's with an uh, Waka. People leaving the island pray here for a safe trip. Chapu didn't pray that day. Said he'd miss his boat. And then he died. Coincidence? I think not. Pray. Might as well. Lulu's just standing there. That should do it. I don't think this has any effect on the game at all, so it doesn't really matter, but might as well. I don't want to save. I just freaking started here. Yeah, you can't even go the other way, so don't even bother. Oh, we have a scripted fight coming up, too. Mini boss fights of sorts. Against this weird thing. We saw him in the temple, remember? All right, you can calm down now, buddy. It's not that serious. All right, enter mini boss time against this guy here. What I want to do is cheer five times real quick. This guy's not that hard, honestly. I might have to heal once or twice, but that's about it. This is four, I believe, right? I always lose count on cheer. Oh, well. Oh, not jump. Yeah, he's like a Jadroon, sort of. At least jump in this game only takes like one turn instead of like two or whatever. All right, that's five cheers we can attack. Nice 500 damage, let's go. You're gonna jump again, all right, you can do that. And I'm going to use Spiral Cut, just because I want to. I suck, I gotta get better at that. Nice overkill, let's go. Get owned. That's enough. Uh, what's with that guy? Kimari Ronso, of the Ronso tribe. He's learned the fiend's way of fighting. That's not what I meant. He's another Yuna's guardians. Huh? <laughs> Sometimes we don't understand him either. Kimari doesn't talk much anyway. Mm. But he has protected me since I was a child. Hmm. Huh. Amari Ronzo. So he's a Ronzo. Four ability spheres, though. And we got a new weapon for Waka there. The scout sensor is a good ability. It shows enemies' weaknesses and stuff. So I like that. Also, we got a weapon, the Rod of Wisdom. Remember the destruction sphere chest that we did last time in the Cloister Trials? Well, it gave us the Rod of Wisdom, which is a really good ability. It has magic plus 8% and sensor on it. And then the weapon that Waka gave us is called the Brotherhood. It has strength plus five. Plus it has three empty slots for abilities if we want to put new ones on there eventually. And then like Waka, see how his scout has an open slot for ability? That'll come to play later on. Oh well, let's just continue on. I think we have one or two more tutorial fights before we're done here. 
And before we move on, I want to go back to Besaid after the tutorial fights to pick up something nice. Oh, Big Bird. Might be a little tough. A flyer. That's your department, right? True, true. But, uh, why don't we let our summoner show us what she's made of? Okay. Switching battles. Okay. So, yeah, you can press L1 and switch characters on the fly. So, if you need to switch your party for whatever reason, you can do it. Your first real battle. Let's see some style. Show us what your training has taught you. you and I don't think okay. it takes up uh, a turn. So you can switch in, like, Yuna for Titus or whatever on the same turn, which is nice. All right. So, Yuna, we got a summon here. They're forcing us to summon Val 4, which is pretty cool. Alright, so what do I want to do? So, if you press right here, you can do this. I want to boost. So I want to... Boost will um let Valvor get his uh, overdrive a little bit faster, and that's what I want to do. Yes, even the summons in the game have um overdrive, and I want to try to build Valvor's up real quick here. Only sixty damage. That's not bad at all. Just keep boosting. You take more damage when you boost, but the overdrive goes quicker, so. There we go. Okay, what do we want to do? Just attack, I guess? 1400 HP, not bad. I don't think it's possible to overkill this guy unless you use your uh, overdrive. But I don't want to use it for this fight. All right, nothing's really working besides regular attack. So whatever, guys. 186 damage, not bad, not bad. I will have to probably heal if I'm not careful. I would be lovely if you would miss like once. That would be cool. Sonic boom, don't do that much. Only 39, all right. This is a really exhilarating fight. Back and forth attacking. I think I'll be good, actually. I don't think I'm gonna have to heal. No, I'll be good. Just barely. And this should do it. Let's go. Easy breezy. Do, 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 do. Ah, the victory. Fair, fair music. Oh, we got a bright ring. Okay. Yeah, enemies in this game, they drop random equipment and stuff all the time. Okay, the bright ring gets her um, 50% notification of the darkness element, element, which is pretty good. I think there might be one more tutorial fight. Yes. Okay, one more. Another one of those. No problem. Leave this one to me, huh? Say good night, buddy. Yeah, so this tutorial fight is just showing you Waka's um dark attack. It blinds the enemy now. He's gonna miss most of his attacks. So let's just use fire with Lulu there. But one thing they didn't mention, I don't think, is in order for characters to get experience in battle, they need to uh, do at least one turn in battle. So Yuna here, there's nothing I really want to do with Yuna. She's not going to do damage with attacking. She only has white magic. I, I don't want to summon. So I'm just going to defend with Yuna real quick. And then bring in Titus on the next turn here. That way everyone gets experience and it's all good and good. But yeah, this is where the game is going to start picking up really nice for us here. We have 
party members. We're gonna need a lot of abilities coming up soon. The game's finally gonna open up to us. There's gonna be no more tutorial fights after this, so we're good there. Lulu has a crazy amount of MP, and her spells only cost four. She can do them all day long. All right, one more hit should do it. Yes, sir. Good job, Waka. You can't overkill him. It's like impossible at this point. Yep, eight experience. All right. And I got an arm dart. I think that's a dark ward thing for Waka, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, sir. All right, but guys, I will meet you back at Pesade Village real quick, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, we're back at Pesade, and there's only one thing I want to do real quick before we move on. Because if you don't do this now, it's going to be really hard to do it later. And it's pretty, it's pretty good, and you want to do it. Talk to this dog. All right, mate, hold on. I didn't trigger the quest yet. I gotta trigger the quest before it, it depart. Okay. First, go in the little item shop over here or whatever. And talk to this guy. Is it not this guy? I thought it was... I'll bet primary number two. Good thing I came back because I almost forgot about it. I don't... I'll take a nap. I don't think it matters, but whatever. You're supposed to be able to talk to someone that will trigger a quest. Maybe I'm in the wrong area. I know, I think it might be the item shop over here, actually, now that I think about it. Yes, okay. Um, buy weapons, anything good? Strength plus, plus three, so no, no. Strength plus three could be good, but I like sensor a little bit more. Magic plus three, that's a good one. We'll buy that for Lulu there. HP plus five, that's good for Titus. Is Dark Ward better than HP plus? No, I think HP plus is better. So we're gonna equip that, equip that, and equip that. There we go. Ah, uh, done. Yep, yeah, funny thing. My dog dug something up yesterday. I wonder what it was. Now we can talk to the dog and get what we need. You can buy regular items here. I don't really need anything because I haven't used many items. All right, guys. But now we can finally talk to this dog over here and get the item. It's a really good item for Yuna, particularly. Val 4 has learned Overdrive any Energy Blast. So yeah, Val 4, I think is one of the only Aeons in the game, or is the only Aeon that has two different Overdrive abilities. And if you don't get that one now, then you'll miss out on, you won't be able to get it until you complete a really hard optional boss fight, so. I don't want to fight that boss fight, and I want to, <laughs> you know, why not get it while you can, right? All right, but we can go back all the way back to the ship, finally. I have not gotten into one fight, which is weird. I tell you, I think the enemy encounter rate is not that crazy in this game. Compared to, like, other RPGs with random encounters, this is pretty tame. Oh, well. Let's just keep going. Going, going. Titus, you run really funny still. Also, if I go to status, no, is it status? Oh, hold on. Is it status? Config, no. Equip, no. Hold on. I'm trying to figure something out. You're supposed to be able to, like... Maybe you can't do it yet. But you're supposed to be able to change the order 
of your characters. All right, maybe you can't do it yet. Whatever. But yeah, you're supposed to be able to change the order of your characters. So you, like what I like to do is have the fastest three party members to start the fight at all times. But I guess the game won't let me do it right now. Whatever. Let's just move on. Hey, finally an encounter. So now it's no more tutorial. So now we're going to go all out. And see times one point times uh, 1.5 that means it's weak to fire so that's what you want to keep out for and pretty much just use the tutorials that the game told you about use walker on flyers Titus on the fast ones Lulu with magic but we'll switch out Lulu for Yuna real quick and then we'll defend switch out Yuna for Lulu and now we're gonna use thunder I honestly think that's one of the only negative things about this game is you have to switch in party members just to get the full experience for your characters, which, you know, it makes sense because you shouldn't get experience unless you're in the fight, but still. All right. I'm going to move Titus up one because I can. Speed Sphere. Thank you very much. Yeah, we're going for haste, and then I don't know where I'm going after haste. Waka, I'm going for extractability. I mean, I could get it for Yuna right there, but she won't make much use of it. Waka would be better off. Yuna, I want to go over here. So I can get elemental spells for you, so you can actually be useful in fights. But I'm not going to need magic that much with, or white magic with Yuna early on. So we're not going to worry about it. Lulu, where are you going to go? You want to go down this way? Yeah. All right, these are the null items. Okay, I'm just trying to look here. Life, pray... Shell, that's a pretty good ability. I kind of want to get. Protect is really good. So I think I'm going to send Lulu down here, right? And I'm going to have Lulu and Yuna be kind of the same character for a little bit. I'm going to skip these no blaze items. I think. So I think I want to get. Maybe I'll get the elemental spells for Yuna. Go here for the null items. And then go down this route. And then go down here so I can get the. Yeah. Okay. That's what I'm going to do, guys. Sorry. Like I said, if that takes too long in the future, I'll just do it off screen so you don't have to watch me continually pick my routes Cuz I never like I said I never used the uh, expert grid, so I don't know what to expect Whatever let's just save real quick All right, I know you can talk to someone and get an item for Yuna I just don't remember who you talk to and it's a pretty good item, and I friggin... I bought an accessory for Yuna that I shouldn't have. Three Phoenix Downs. Okay, we're not gonna be dying, but thank you. A Seeker's Ring. That's what I was going for. 400 Gil. All right. Yeah, even though Kamari's following us and he's like a guardian of Yuna's, he's not in the party, so don't worry about him. Yeah, I can't even talk to this friggin' doofus. Formation, there we go. Now we can change formation. So status. Look at the speed. Where are, where's the speed? Agility. 
Okay, agility 5, 11, 7, and Yuna. So I'm going to switch out Lulu for Yuna. Because the faster agility you have with your characters, the more likely you're going to go first. Yeah, so I bought a Seeker Ring for Yuna, and I just got a better version there for free. So don't waste your money on that, guys. Whatever. Hey, why is everyone saying it's like a farewell present? Goodbye. We could always come back. It's like, we're not going to be gone forever. Once we complete the journey, we can come back. take someone's freaking binoculars bro it's not how it works I mean he's a nobody but it's not how it works what are you even looking at oh well all right I approve you can you can go back down a little bit I mean, that's a good look, too, I guess. <laughs> See, just you... You're a weird dude, bro. You just pissed this guy off for no reason. Um, should we talk to you? No, should we go explore the ship? We're gonna explore. I think there's some goodies we can get. If we go down here. Oh, those fascinating clothes you're wearing. Thanks. Who are you? Yeah. Filthy, filthy. These won't sell. Or don't look like you got much money either. I've no business with you. Out of me way. Who do you think you are? A walker the twenty-third merchant extraordinaire. A walk of the who? Don't know me? Well, not many do. Not yet. Okay, so this guy, he's a merchant, but I, if I remember correctly, he's known to have higher prices. Will be spoken all over Spira. Say, lad, you wouldn't have a bit of gill to lend. I do, but I don't remember how much to give him, so let me look it up real quick and I'll be right back. Alright guys, we're back and I'm actually not gonna... I will give you one deal. I actually don't want to donate anything to you. Yeah, should have expected as much. Yeah, because I looked it up and it's actually not even beneficial to... Have you got... Uh... It's not even beneficial to, um, donate to him, so whatever. Anyways, kick this. So this, uh, right here, if you have less than 20 potions in your inventory, you can kick this until you get up to 20 potions, which is pretty cool. And a remedy, alright. Anything else we can get around here? I want to say there's one more thing to get, but I don't remember exactly where to go. What the heck is that? That's a chocobo. What the heck is what? What is this place? The power room, like it says on the door. Yeah, but why the big birds? What's so strange about chocobo power? 
Chocobos? Those are chocobos? What? You've never seen a chocobo? What kind of backwater island did you come from, anyway? Hmm. I mean, on the contrary, he, he comes from a to become daily more advanced civilization. Anyways, there's... Yes, yeah, right here. Albed primer number three. I think that's missable, so make sure you get it now. But I think next time, guys, we will move on because we have a pretty lengthy boss fight coming up. So next time, we'll tackle that. I want to thank you all for watching. If you liked the video, hit that like button. Subscribe for more Final Fantasy X. Maybe check out some of my other LPs. But until next time, stay wicked.